Right. So, UFC 296 reactions. Uh, the Sean Strickland brawl, mainly, is what I wanted to talk about. So, the... Apparently, before the fight, everyone was getting mad at the press conference for Col uh, at Colby for saying this. No, I'm bringing you to seventh layer hell. You, we'll, we'll, we'll say what's up to your dad while we're there. To Leon Edwards. Which caused Leon to do this. Oh! So naturally, a lot of people were taking sides with Leon. Because what Colby said was inappropriate, according to some people. Because he mentioned his dad. However, Drickus Duplessis, the very next day, said this. All, every childhood memory you have is going to come back when I'm in there with you. Every single one. The one where you lie in bed at night where your dad thing, comes man. in and he beats the shit I out of you. I will take your fucking soul. You understand? To Sean Strickland about his dad. And also, Sean O'Malley said this. Wait, what do you say? That at least my dad didn't fuck me. Oh, this fuck. Also about Strickland's dad. And Strickland reacted in typical Sean Strickland fashion by doing this. To move. Oh, and. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. And everybody seems to be mad about it, or surprised by it, at least, for some reason. So, um, my thoughts on it were, I mean, I didn't agree with what Colby said. Um, I did, uh, the, that's the theory, is whether he crossed the line or not. Personally, I understand why he said what he said, what Colby said, is psychological warfare. He's trying to get Leon angry, and it worked. Um... It didn't affect the fight, however, because Leon still won and Colby, uh, Colby didn't perform. So, But I can understand why he did it. Um, doesn't mean that I agree with it. I mean, if I'd have been in Leon's position, I probably would have uh, more likely swung for him as well. Um, but that's another issue. The The thing is what Sean did to Drickus Duplessis. Now... You've got to understand that Colby and Drickus both said things about their opponent's dad. And whichever way you swing it, they both said it. So, And they both reacted in the same way but differently. Now, Leon's reaction was instant. His reaction was instant anger and attacked him straight away when there was loads of security around so there was no chance that he was going to get near Colby and hit him Sean's reaction however was also initial anger but he, he initially got angry and started throwing um, verbal insults back and he didn't throw any physical stuff back but the next day at the UFC for some reason, Dana White thought it would be a good idea to sit these two within one seat of each other and put in that seat a child, which is about this big, and two massive dudes are, are very clearly not happy with each other and are both professional fighters. Yeah, let's put a child in between those two and no security. Great idea. So what Sean did is actually... For, in comparison to what Leon did, is probably the better way of doing it. Now, if someone insults your parents or whatever, or insults you in any way, and it makes you angry, and you want to hit them, the way Sean did it was the better way of doing it, because he landed punches. Leon wasn't able to get to Colby, because his reaction was instant, but there was security there, and they also instantly reacted. As soon as Colby said it, they were like, Shit, we better get in and stop this. Um, Sean, however, bided his time. And I did say this at the time. I said, if Leon really wanted to hit him, he could hit him. He could just wait. And when they all go backstage, he could easily make his way into the vicinity of Colby and get a cracker shot on him. 
it's not that hard unless Colby is or both of them are literally surrounded or stalked by security the whole time, which I don't think they are because I mean look what happened to Bobby Green um, a couple of weeks ago. There was no security there. There was just a brawl in the hotel. Um, <clears throat> what Strickland did is actually quite smart because he waited until he was there was no one else other than a child. <laughs> in between him and Drekus. Now, at the end of the day, it's all just words, isn't it? I mean, it, Strickland's a, a proper man. I'm sure words, if he wanted to not let words bother him, he wouldn't. But obviously, Drekus struck a nerve, and Sean even admitted that, um, by mentioning his abusive dad and bringing that up which was a little bit of a low blow i agree on the same vein as colby's comment on leon's dad um obviously i don't know much about the fighters families i know quite a bit about them um but yeah strickland waited and then when he turned and saw that drickus was behind him and he was continuing to talk shit he just kindly asked the child and the woman that was sat behind him to step to one side and then he stood over the seat and started throwing punches and elbows onto Drekus's head um, and quite a few looked like they connected um, so here's the clip and asks Gilbert Burns' son to move oh and then... oh wow oh my God. So yeah, a couple of them shots connected. It didn't seem to do any f uh, visual damage. Like he, uh, Drickus didn't seem to be cut or damaged to the face. But I mean, he got hit in the head. I mean, it's probably his head hurts. And then the security piled in and separated them both. But what was quite funny was Cheeto, <laughs> Cheeto's reaction um, to the brawl, which if I can find the clip, I'll insert it here. But if not, here it is. Uh, I did save it on my Instagram. <laughs> so Cheeto's reaction was actually hilarious. He was loving it. So here's Cheeto's reaction. And there's a circle around him. There he is. Cheering away, shouting. He loves it. Seconds after the brawl happened, um, I'll try and find the clip and insert it into the video if I can. But I'm really starting to like Sean Strickland. I think he's a more uh, he's a refreshing personality to have in the game because he's a real manly man. He's a man's man. Uh, and he doesn't wear any Gucci outfits. He always turns up in a white shirt and jeans. Um, he doesn't show off like some of the other fighters do by dyeing the hair purple and wearing purple trench coats and wearing bright pink suits with no shirt underneath and stupid sunglasses and ridiculous gold chains with stupid diamonds all over them. You're just wearing your money, which just shows that you materialistic um i like sean strickland's style he's very genuine and he's himself he doesn't put on a fake personality he might exaggerate himself a little bit um but a lot of fighters do that they have to because if they're just boring uh and they hardly speak like leon edwards for example he's probably the well i mean he cemented himself as the greatest welterweight on the planet right now but he doesn't really do much. He doesn't talk and he doesn't express a personality. So he has to rely on his skills. Whereas Colby is a massive personality and he relies a lot on that to make his money and make his popularity and get eyes on him. And Strickland may do that a little bit. He may um, accentuate his personality slightly for entertainment value. But yeah, he's. I can't wait to see this fight. 
I think the brawl, in, uh, I'm glad that it was got on film, but I didn't see it on the live show, but I managed to see it on Instagram just a few hours later. Um, but yeah, so that's um, that's my reaction to that, <laughs> Battling Dudes. Reaction to the Sean Strickland brawl. Hope you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel and like the video because no one ever does that. It really irritates me. I get a lot of people watching and no one subscribes. So subscribe, watch the video, subscribe it. If you want to comment, go ahead and comment. But I haven't gotten hardly any subscribes and I've gotten loads of views recently. So I need them subscribers coming in because then and only then I can grow the channel and put more content out. And the more people that are subscribed and that comment and ask, do request what games you want to see me play, what fights you want to see me talk about, what videos you want to hear me talk about, and what you want to see on the, the podcast now, the Whiskey Hour and stuff like that. It's, it's stuff I want to know. So subscribe, comment, give your opinions on the brawl. What do you think? What do you think of Colby's comments? What do you think of Strickland and Duplessis' comments? How stupid does Sean O'Malley look with that stupid purple hair and the flipping purple coat and stuff like that? Comment, let me know, and have a nice day.